friend just got a new car, so we're doing an oil change on a 2006 Volvo XC90. This has the five-cylinder engine in it. Uh, we started by using a 12 millimeter uh, wrench to remove the uh, plate from underneath the engine. Right there. So we got that off. Now we're using a uh, 17 millimeter socket and uh, we're going to pull the uh, oil drain plug. Seal this. So, oil drain plug is located right there. It's just slightly to the passenger side of the vehicle, directly underneath. We're doing it on a slight incline, so don't have to use a jack, but in most situations you may want a jack. Well, we've been trying to get the oil filter for about an hour now. Can't get the oil filter off at all. So, uh, not a good design. We've tried rope, we've tried wrenches, we've tried oil filter removers, but none of it's doing anything. We just put some uh, PB blaster on it to try and loosen it up. But as you can tell, there's, there's no nut or socket on the bottom, and there's no room to grip it with the engine right there. Very, uh, very difficult. Excited because we may have gotten the oil filter loose enough. This is what we ended up having to use. So I'll show you once we get it out, but we basically used a vice grip to grip the filter and then a, a real bench vise to grab the vice grip. So then we rotated the two sides of the bench vise. Uh, and you may say, wow, that's ridiculous, why would you do that? But we really, we tried like 35 other things before we got here. We didn't just go straight here. <laughs> Alright, so, Volvos, they have a filter around the filter. You can see, with this method, we scratched it a little bit, but this is some thick plastic, so it did not hurt it at all. We ended up basically using our first vice grip to grip around the filter like this. And then uh, we tried just hammering on it or grabbing with that vise, but we couldn't get it. So we had the idea of using a real bench vise for leverage and grabbing uh, the vise with the vise and then twisting like such. And that worked. So uh, how to remove stuck oil filters, uh, expert edition. So we replaced this O-ring here with a new one that came with the filter. We got a new Wix filter. It's symmetrical. You just drop it in. We're going to go ahead and lubricate a little oil around the outside and on the inside. Putting the drain plug back in, you can see it has this little aluminum crush washer on it. We're just reusing it because O'Reilly's didn't have one in stock. You should replace it every once in a while though. Here you go, man. Alright, got the oil change completed. Here's a cap in the center, obviously. The dipstick's here. We also added some refrigerant so your low pressure refrigerant is right there in case you're wondering got the plate back on so you can't see anything <laughs> 